Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio Friday Facts discussion. Um, first of all, I'd like to just wish all of you a happy holidays. I hope uh, everyone's doing well and uh, enjoying the holiday. But this Friday Facts is particularly interesting. Um, they've discussed the blueprint, uh, blueprint library, if I can talk, um, and a GUI design and redesign as well. So if you're not familiar, um, in the Friday Facts 161 as they've linked here, um, they discussed the Blueprint Library, which is essentially a much better uh, way of sharing blueprints. As it is now, you, you have to use a mod like Blueprint String or something to export a string from your Blueprint and then like find the text file and grab it and then give it to someone and they import it. It's a pain. Um, they're going to make it part, this is for 0 0.15, um, they're going to make it part of the game to share blueprints and have like just a overall um, save area of blueprints on your computer, um, so you can sh like have blueprints um, be consistent throughout all your your save games, if that makes sense. Um, so they kind of did just give a quick breakdown here. Um, blueprints that saved in your library are saved on your computer, and when you load a new save, those blueprints are still available in your library. And in multiplayer games, players can see each other's blueprints and exchange them easily. Uh, so what is the user experience? So um, what they've had to do is, is come up with a new GUI for it, obviously. Um, and they say here that uh, one of the biggest gripes was that you had to open the blueprint itself and then click a button in order to copy it to the library. Um, and getting, getting a blueprint out was a similar process, open it, press a button, and then get the blueprint, um, which is a bit annoying, um, you know, having to open the thing and then click a button and do something. Um, so they have kind of redesigned that process um, so that you can simply drag and drop. Essentially, you can see the kind of example animation down here. Um, with a bit of work, we've managed to make it so you can simply move blueprint move a blueprint from the library window into your hotbar like you would any other item. So you can see just the drag and drop, which is super nice. Um, converting the blueprint record into a blueprint item is handled mostly transparently. So, you know, behind the scenes. Um, the one problem with this, though, that they mention is that if it's a huge blueprint, you know, I mean, and there are definitely big blueprints. If you're doing like a big solar blueprint or just another big build, like a big oil blueprint or something, um, then it, the, the download can actually take a while here. Our hope is that for most blueprints, the download time won't be much, so the download will be able to complete by the time the user moves the icon or its destination. Um, for big blueprints, however, this might be a problem. Um, it's kind of left unsolved, but yeah. So, you know, if it's a huge blueprint, there might be kind of a bit of a delay um, or late. Um, they discuss over here, though, that um, they'll either display progress progress bar in some corner of the screen or will allow the user to drop the item but the uh, but gray it out and display progress bar over it so that would be cool um, at least you can kind of know how your progress is doing um, making things make sense so this is kind of what they have so far um, you have your blueprints um, you can see Oxid uh, who is who wrote this and uh, you know they've just stored their blueprint and this is their blueprints. And then we have shared blueprints, uh, game blueprints, player, and another player. Um, so one of the changes is that it displays a blueprint name under its icon, you can see here, which is really nice. That is actually immensely helpful because you can't always tell by the icon what it is. You know, if it's complicated, you might have like three different pictures or something. Um, so the name really helps. And uh, yeah, in case you didn't know, you can rename blueprints in vanilla. It's a little like, uh, I think it's like a little refresh type button um, in the top of your blueprint when you open it. And uh, another big change is that we changed the library to a two panel window. On the right, you can see all your blueprints. These are the ones that are saved on your disk and follow you from save to save. Um, they're also automatically shared with others in a multiplayer game. Now, personally, when I read this, I was actually a little bit um, not too thrilled about this <laughs> um, because, you know, a lot of my stuff, I wouldn't, like, I may be using blueprints in my games uh, that I've come up with that I don't want to share, um, but I want in my library, and doing it like this, um, if I, like, put them in my storage, my library storage, if they're going to automatically be shared with people in multiplayer games, that's, uh, in my opinion, not the best thing, um, just because I, I, I don't, there may be some I don't want to share, 
I'm sure you guys know how that goes as well. Uh, the left panel has other players' blueprints, and it's there they'll be able to get someone else's blueprint from. So essentially, um, yeah, so like, say Alice in this case, uh, save blueprints in their uh, personal save game and then went and joined a multiplayer game. Um, this would then be what everyone else sees. They can grab these blueprints, which again, I think having it automatic is not the best idea. Um, Cause like I said, you know, there's blueprints you may want in your stores to persist through your saves, but you wouldn't want to just share with every person in a multiplayer game you enter into. Um, I know that's definitely the case for me. So um, if they're going to keep it this way, I may just have to have blueprints. I never put my library and do it the old fashioned way, which will be a pain. Um, but we'll see. It, it's certainly not done. So they'll get some feedback. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm against having automatic. I'd love to hear what you guys think. If you're kind of the same thought or if you don't care, if you think it's good, um, then yeah, like rather, I think like in my opinion, a good way to do it would be to have it automatic but have an option to to like turn it off for certain blueprints right um instead of having to turn it on for certain blueprints just have it um it's a normal state is that they're automatically shared in multiplayer games but have like a tick option or something to just be like don't share and you can just like turn off the ones you don't want to share with everyone um that would be pretty great in my opinion so um a topic of great debate was what to do with the game blueprint section or to make it easy to understand what is for and how it works. Game blueprints are blueprints associated with the save itself. They are useful to, for save specific blueprints that you don't want to drag along with you to every save you play. Um, so this would kind of just be like how the blueprints work now, right? You save them and they're in that save, but they don't persist through other saves. Um, they are also useful for server-specific setups when a new player joins it. Multiplayer game, they can be directed to grab blueprints from this section rather than being pulled to hunt um, them from various other players who may not even be on at the time. So that's really cool as well. Um, but again, that doesn't really solve the issue of having blueprints persist through your saves but not automatically shared with everyone else. So we'll see how that goes. Um, it's not completely convinced that this is the correct place for game blueprints to be. Um, yeah, I mean, they're kind of different because they're tied to a specific save um, and in that sense they don't belong in the left panel but introducing a third panel would be a bit much they think so we'll see how that works um, honestly I would just well I mean they are kind of shared if it's like server specific so having them here um, I, I think makes kind of sense for me um, an actual expert so they hired a new member um, of the team Norbert is starting for real in January, but he has already spent a week with us, um, a GUI expert. Um, during his week with us, he was mostly getting to grips with the rest of the team, but even so managed to come up with an improved design for one of our GUIs, the Blueprint Preview GUI. So obviously you know what the current GUI looks like um, in game now for when you open a Blueprint or create it. Um, this is what the improved one looks like, and I think it's uh, much better. Um, so the Blueprint, now the rename thing, is like a pencil, which makes more sense than a... Uh, than a refresh icon. And uh, you can choose your icons, which is actually labeled now, choose icons so it makes more sense. Your components are showed, you can tick what you want, any of these modules tiles, uh, so on and so forth. And you actually have an explanation here, right click to rename element, or remove element, sorry, left click to restore. Um, and yeah, so this is the window you see when you first create one, or right click on one that you've already made to preview it. Um, and yeah, in 0 0.14, there's an icon next to the blueprint title that looks like a refresh button. That's how you rename it. And they say, maybe I should not have taken a UI designer to tell us that that was the wrong icon for the task, but at least someone finally told us. Uh, yeah, so that's true. Um, kind of the same in the comments thing in the forum. Someone else mentioned that like the rename thing in the, uh, not the rename, the preview thing in your train menu. Like when you go to the train menu that's up in the right corner of your game and you... Uh, um, and you want to like view, there's like a map view here, and then you can go to actually show the train. Um, that's also a refresh icon, which someone mentioned probably shouldn't be, which I agree. Maybe like magnifying glass or something. Um, and uh, yeah, even even this is a work in progress, and they're hoping that, you know, the factorial GUI will be less quirky one day as time goes on. So that's pretty much it. That's what this was. Um, I think the... I think it's good. I think the new blueprint library and stuff is fantastic. Um, 
it'll, it'll make it so much easier to just transfer blueprints um, between your saves and to other people. Um, I do, again, really hope that they give you some option to not have all of your personal blueprints shared with everyone in multiplayer just like automatically without a choice. Uh, again, for the reasons I mentioned. So um, I think that's going to do it. Um, and yeah, go check out the, the forum thing if you want to see discussion. There's always some good discussion there, great suggestions. Um, I'd love to hear any thoughts you guys have in regards to any of this. And yeah, I believe that'll do it, guys. So as always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a thumbs up. And again, have a fantastic holiday. And I will talk to you in the next video. Take care.